everybody today i want to show you the verses you can read if you are in trouble if you are facing any type of problems because the bible has said that this devil must go down to his knees in the name of jesus and this is bible verses that it will bring the devil and his demons to their knees when used in prayers this is why the word of god says we should pray without season hallelujah amen if you don't fight the devil and his demons they will fight you and if you fight them they will also fight back as well so the best thing to do is keep fighting and you don't have to give up until you win through the word of god that's how to keep the devil and his demons to their knees by equipping yourself with the word of god the bible said in the book of first thessalonians 5 17 pray without season and this means being intentionally about praying don't give up praying and don't stop using the bible verses when praying this is how to bring the devil and his demons to their knees praying with the sword of the spirit inside of you and pouring the words of god out of your system just like a waterfall now listen to the bible verses you're going to use luke chapter 10 verse 19 it says this bible verses makes you know the authority you have in christ jesus when you use this particular scripture the devil gives chance yes you say it in your prayers that you have authority and power to scatter any stronghold and nothing can happen to you this way the sword of the spirit activates inside of you to make them bow on their knees romans 16 20. this scripture tells you that the god of peace will crush satan under your feet do you hear that do you hear that yes almighty god will crush satan under your feet take advantage of this scripture apply it to yourself and you will bring the devil and his demons under your feet and be in charge of them hallelujah proverbs 18 10. the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run it into it and they are saved this scripture is telling you that you are righteous through christ jesus and whenever you call on the name of Jesus, when praying, you run into a heaven. You are saved from a virtues of the devil. Philippians 2 verses 10 to 11. This scripture tells you the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. It reveals to you that when you call on the name of Jesus through the authority you have, the devil and his demons shall go down on their knees because the name is greater than every other name hallelujah james chapter 4 verse 7 resist the devil tell him to pack his load and leave your house and family they have no place in your life family or business when you resisted the devil and his demons he flees from you and falls on his knee to surrender to the authority inside of you matthew chapter 4 verse 10 then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. Get out, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Amen. Jesus rebuked the devil. And you can apply this scripture to your situation and bring the devil and his demons to their knees through the name of Jesus Christ. Do not weep whenever there is any problem whenever there is anything that is disturbing you the word of god is ready to help you a child of god is ready to go to the word of god and know what you would do not to stay and be la crying crying will not help you what will help you is faith you have in jesus christ and the prayer and the word of god you use in your prayer because no solution that you will look for that is is a not in the bible some people ignore it and go other ways but later they will come back and seek the face of god without jesus there is no life without jesus christ there is no life my brothers and sisters 
So whatever that is stopping your prayer, is this sin? Is this sorrow? Some people does not sleep at night because of trouble. Go to the word of God. Do not let yourself to be ruined because of what the enemy can do. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. It can be in your neighborhood. Yes, you don't know. Laughing, greeting you. Go to God in prayer. All the plans they are making around you, behind you, will perish in Jesus' name. Go to the word of God and use the word of God. I have tried it. And it's helping me. I'm proud of Jesus Christ. He's able. Jesus Christ is all. He's all to every cry. He's all to you whenever you are in trouble. My dear brothers and sisters, do not worry yourself. Go to Jesus Christ. He will wipe away your tears. Remain blessed, my brothers and sisters. Amen.